I always get in the habit of holding the humerus, the distal humerus. So if you rest your hand underneath the humerus, that distal humerus, you've got some control over internal and external shoulder range of my, uh, rotation, okay? Because if you start putting pressure on the elbow, particularly when we come to look at ligaments assessment, the shoulder rotates and that can sometimes get challenging for people to be able to, you know, be sure that they're getting a false, you know, a, a true positive or a true negative test instead of a false positive and a false negative. So I get into the habit of holding that distal humerus. So I'm going to look at elbow flexion. Okay, so neutral forearm coming up into end of range elbow flexion. With elbow passive joint range of motion assessment, don't press hard. It, you'll hurt anyone, even a healthy normal elbow. You can cause pain if you use too much force. So literally just to end of range, you feel that resistance and then slight overpressure is all you need, okay, to look at whether there's any aggravation of symptoms. To clear the joint though, I'm also going to add an AD duction and an AB duction component to it, okay? So elbow flexion, flexion adduction and flexion AB duction.